Joe Cowell with Dog Tune Media, and I'm just tickled pink because I'm at New York Comic Con. So we're live at New York Comic Con, New York Anime Fest, and I, I just hate everybody. Hello and welcome to New York Comic Con with Rupert Cornelius. I'm here on the main uh, floor area of, uh, of the New York Comic Con, so you can see uh, the activity is quite intense. I'm going to go around and uh, ask people uh, you know what they're doing, how they are, and uh, see if everybody's having a good time. It should be fun. I'm excited. You should be too. In fact, we already walked into somebody over here. What? Step over. Hi. Who the fuck are you? What? I'm Doctor Adventure. What kind of adventures do you go on? The best. Like sexual adventures? Occasionally. Do you enjoy fat chicks? If they have good personalities. You're a pitiful man. What? Everybody needs love. You never heard the Jim Croce song? Fat girls need love too. And welcome to Comic Con. You do. Hi. Hi. What kind of shop you're running here? What the fuck do you do? You know, do you like fat chicks? What, what's going on? Well, no, no, no. I like big chicks. Okay, get it right. Big chicks. No, my name is Manny, and we're in the Wise Ass Shirts booth, which is part of the uh, Wise Ass Shirts company. As you can catch us at every con, selling the funniest t-shirts here. Alrighty, I'm here with Justin. So, Justin, what's your favorite part of uh, the convention so far? Uh, Master Chief and costumes. Hey. Master Chief is the best. So we're here now live at the uh, Reckoning booth. Uh, I automatically was just like, hell yes, because I had my Viking helmet, which I guess the ladies like. And they also have a giant hammer right over there if you want to get a shot of that real quick. How beautiful oh, is it? <laughs> oh, bring it in, there you go. All right. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I want, is there a way I can? <laughs> <laughs> So tell us a little bit about the game. Uh, what can we expect? Uh, is it strictly for PCs? It's coming out on uh, systems? Uh, give us a little rundown of it. So it's called Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, and it is coming out on PC, Xbox, and PS3. Very nice. Uh, what can we expect out of this? Is there like a lot of blood and guts? And, uh, am I going to be able to live out my fucking heritage and kicking ass all over the world? Absolutely. It is an action RPG. It is absolutely full of combat. And what makes it awesome is our Salvatore, Todd McFarlane, and Ken Walston. So of course the game that is designed and worked on by those three guys is going to be absolutely kick ass awesome. Goddamn. I have a raging corner for this game already. Absolutely. What, what can we expect this out? We are looking at fall 2011. Fall 2011, we're doing this shit. Thank you again. All right. That was awesome. Thank you. I figured since I was in New York, I might as well visit some family. So I thought I'd come and visit Uncle Damien. Apparently he doesn't seem to be home. We've got a lot of guests this week. But, uh, you know, looks, uh, looks like he's keeping everything up. Just how I remember it. We used to play in here as children all the time. It was so much fun. Swinging from vine to vine, and now it looks like he's, uh, well, looks like he's renting it out, I think. I don't know, I don't really keep up with him much anymore. But we should have called first. A little, little rude otherwise, you know? I'll call him, we'll swing back. It'll be fun. Who the fuck are you? What the hell are you doing here? Uh, why the hell am I talking to you? Do you guys have any superpowers? Uh, let's, let's make this fucking interesting. All right, well, um, we're Ramen Studio. My name's Jim Popaboon, and uh, we're here selling our prints. Um, it took us two weeks to build the original suit and an additional four days to, uh, to do the, uh, the new paint job and, and the extra additions. Amazing. It looks absolutely wonderful. So would you like to uh, give us a, your web, uh, website address? Sure. Uh, we're Paint Jumper Productions. We're a, 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 a physical fabrication company based in Atlanta, Georgia. Our website is www.getdreadful.com. Fantastic. Well, I want you to go check that out. Uh, hello, I'm here with Brunt 
Mental Floss. Uh, and he's a. Uh, how would you describe yourself, really? Handsome, bald man. Uh, porn star. Excellent. I'm here with a handsome, bald man who is also a porn star. You, you do some music as well, right? Yes, porn music. Excellent. Porn music. I'm quite excited. Uh, so, uh, are you enjoying New York Comic Con? Absolutely. Fantastic. Are you doing well in your, your, your area here? Uh, yeah, even better than my area here. Excellent. We always want to know about both areas. Uh, so, uh, quickly, uh, because my, my podcast is uh, Ask the Educated, do you have a question that I could answer for you? A burning question. Oh. Does everybody else eat their boogers or just me? Uh, no, actually, my cameraman here, he does as well. Yes! I knew it! You guys should be friends. You should I'm, meet. I'm not alone. No, no. Excellent. All right, well, we're going to set that little uh, little date up, and uh, we'll be back. So thank you very much, Quentin Floss. My pleasure. My pleasure. All righty, I am here with a count named Slickbrass. Greetings and salivations to y'all. Uh, what brings you to New York Comic Con? My adoring public, I'm here on request. You've been requested? Yes. I believe my good colleague, Rupert Cornelius, has requested my presence. Who are you, by the way? I'm... I'm Who Doug from Dogtooth Media. We met at World's Fair, in fact, I posted your video and... There's uh, been a lot of alcohol since then, sir. <laughs> All right, so we're now here with uh, David. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your last name. David Carney. Carney. Warhammer 40K Ultramarines movie. Holy fucking shit. How, how awesome can I expect this movie to be? Uh, it's looking fantastic. Uh, Games Workshop have obviously seen the full movie, and, and they're so pleased with what we've done with 40K to put up on the screen. So we're all very, very excited. A lot of people have put an awful lot of passion up onto the screen to hopefully make it a fantastic 40K experience. I'm very excited to see it. Uh, how long in production did this take? Uh, you know, can you give us a background? You know, just how much work went into this? Uh? Uh, the team at Codex, uh, myself and my colleague uh, producer Bob Thompson, um, takes about 13, 14 months into production. Uh, took a lot longer than that to uh, secure the rights and raise the money to make the movie. Ah, well, uh, now is it released now or is it coming out soon or? Uh, today at Comic-Con is the uh, first day you can pre-order the movie online at ultramarinesthemovie.com. You can only buy the collector's edition from our website and uh, it's released on November the 29th. Ah, right, well, you heard the man there. Go to the website, pre-order it. I know what I'm doing actually when we're done here. Thank you again for stopping by with us. Thanks for buying it. I'm buying it. If you guys don't buy it, we're both coming to your house and kicking your ass. Yeah, absolutely. What are you promoting here? Oh, well, I am promoting the Parasol Protector. It's a wonderful series of books by Gail Caricature. There is a booth over at um, Hatchet Book Group, Orbit Book Group. It's a steampunk series novels about ladies fighting vampires with parasols. Ah, I do not like vampires, but I do like ladies. Of so course. that is a fantastic book series because it's ladies killing vampires. With parasols. Indeed, something I like is something I hate. Wonderful. I'm here with Mario and, uh, what's up, dude? Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing quite well. I feel like singing. How about you? Okie dokie. I'm up for anything that's a fun. Let's try. Hello, I'm here with Demon Boy, and who's a, a multimedia, you have, you have several things, you have music and music. My comic book was just released oh. uh, about four weeks ago, the Demon Boy comic book, issue number one's out right now, you can find it everywhere. Is there a panel or a, a booth that you've been really uh, enamored with lately? Brass generally does not deign to grace a panel with his presence, that requires effort and time. Time and effort that I spend on La Rouge Satois, or the ASS Tinnitus, or the NerdFit Network, or even oh, my good yeah. friends at Dogtoon Media, bitches! That was like a four-prong plug, I think, if I count oh, them right. And thank you. That. Only a account named Slickbrass could simultaneously plug four different, diverse things. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So what are you what are you here promoting? What are you doing? I'm here to promote Lava Roid, which is a comic I wrote and uh, created, and also a potential web series in the works. Excellent. All right, so a fellow a fellow uh, web uh, savant. Uh, so so uh, what 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 do you do? What's your powers? Uh, well, Lava Roid uh, went to his best friend, uh, who's a scientist who. Uh, 
be injected with a super serum formula to get, uh, but unfortunately at the time uh, he was suffering from a bad case of hemorrhoids. Ah, I get the, I get where that's coming so from. So serum fused with it, which gave him uh, powers to uh, shoot out of the fire out of his hands and his uh, butt. <laughs> Excellent. All right. One step and then again. Let's do the body. All together now. And coming soon, more wisdom from me. Oh, you want to make a little announcement? Because oh, yes. this, because this, this, this gentleman here will soon be, this face will soon adorn the dog tune media. It's going viral, bitches. I have no idea what's going on. But I want one. So now we're here with a legend. Who are you? I'm the goddamn Batman. What up, my fellow steampunks? Look at your chef. Now back to him. Now back to your chef. Now back to him. Lucrecia isn't him. I am not a judge. Ron Chef Challenge is coming. Coming at ya, GobbleCon. What? Just Google Demon Boy, you'll find me. I also got a CD out right now. My new album's coming out in January. Look for that. Awesome. Fantastic. So many things to entertain. That's right. Excellent. So when you're not watching my web series, you can enjoy Demon Boy. All right, what do you do? I'm the goddamn Batman. Is that, is that a secondary announcement? Yes, indeed. Amazing. So you're saying there's going to be an Iron Chef showdown at GobbleCon? It is one-third Iron Chef, one-third Deadliest Warrior, one-third WWE SmackDown matches. <laughs> it just got real in here. It just got seriously Out real. Here. In here. Gorgeous. How are you enjoying Comic Con? I'm the goddamn Batman. So we're here now with the most metal band known to man, motherfucking Power Glove. What is up, guys? Hello! Hello! Hello. So you guys. Fucking Comic Con. That's awesome. Holy shit, they're at Comic Con! Yeah, if you didn't know, we're just clarifying that point. <laughs> All right, let's try something a little different here. Um, who was your most hardcore battle, like uh, Super Nemesis, your biggest one? I'm the goddamn Batman. So you guys just had your new album come out. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, let us see. Our new album came out, I think, 11 days ago now. It has been nothing but wonderful. I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea what to say about it. Uh, our new album, it's all, it's all uh, TV cartoon. Yeah. And, uh, oh, that's what it is. is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're called Power Glove. All right, well, last time I read a fan fiction where you took on the giant robot Voltron, and it was pretty awesome. And I think that, you know, that probably would be the most hardcore fight you've ever experienced. I hate you. Hello, I'm here with La from uh, Least I Can Do and Looking for Group, Blind Fair Productions. So uh, tell us about your, your, your work. Well, I'm the cartoonist for the two comics, as you said. Least I Can Do is seven days a week. Um, at least I can do .com. Monday to Saturday, it's you know rain summer. So it was a really nice guy who also happens to be uh, sexist, uh, narcissistic, egotistical, talks without thinking. But he's a really nice guy. Yeah, you know, nice. Yeah, nice guy. And then Sunday is like a retro strip of him as a little boy before his libido kicked in. Ah. And then looking for group is I like to call it a serial comic book. It's a full page uh, fantasy adventure comedy, and you get that Monday and Thursday at lfgcomic.com. Excellent, so check those out, those are fantastic, and every day, which means you can go to the site every day and see a new comic. Yeah, fantastic. updates are extremely important to us, that's the deal, you know, we take this seriously, we don't take ourselves seriously, but oh, we take our comics seriously. Well, that's the that's better mix. That, you know, and people got to know they can depend on getting, you know, getting more of what we do, so it's always very important, midnight, refresh your browser, it's there. Fantastic. That's a commitment to you, the viewer. Wonderful. I I enjoy it immensely. Uh, our website has a webcomic. Sometimes it's not updated. Hint. But uh, someone's going to get better at that. Looking at you. Anyway, thank you very much. You're welcome. Absolute pleasure. <laughs> Alright guys, that wraps it up for New York Comic Con. It's brought to you by Dog Team Media and the NerdFit Network. Check out all the links to the cool stuff that we checked out below. And uh, if you can check it out this year, I think you should. We had a great time. Peace.